All right, we continue right now this morning with uh, a new segment that I'm hoping that we're going to be doing every yes, single week, a sports it, team it. of the week. And this week, we're talking about a team that was established in 2016. We're talking about Stellenbosch FC. And they had a vision to compete and make it, uh, make it out of the National First Division, which is the second highest league of South African club football uh, after the Premier League, Premier Soccer League. And then the goal was ultimately then to reach the highest level of local football, which is, of course, the PSL. Absolutely. Now, last year the club from the Cape Winelands were crowned F NFD champions and this season they've been making waves in the PSL playing alongside some of the biggest names in African football. Now we spent the day with the team at their base at the Stellenbosch Academy of Sport as they get our pick for team of the week. Oh yeah. Soccer fans all over the world dream of walking in their hero's footsteps. But there's definitely more to soccer than simply showing up and putting on the team gear. It takes a lot of hard work and determination. And today we spend the day with Stellenbosch FC. We find out what it takes to be a professional soccer player. Coach, Stellenbosch FC, you've progressed from the National First Division into the PSL. How big of a step up has this been for the team? Yeah, it's been a big step on the field of play, yes, it's been challenging, you know, we're uh, up against, uh, you know, some really established teams in the league. We've been, uh, you know, around for many years, so the step has been uh, big, but I do think that we are now finding our feet. Uh, it was always uh, going to be tough from the start, but uh, I think we've adapted well uh, and we're showing that we belong here. So I'm, I'm happy with the progress that we've made. I think for a new club to be uh, in that position, we have to be proud of what we've achieved, uh, proud of the players' uh, commitment and effort every day of training to get us into that position, but we want to be ultimately challenging at the high end of the, the league table, but for now we're happy with the progress. Take us through a typical training day. What does it look like for these players? Yeah, I know it's a tough day for the lads. I think we try and make the day as um, full as possible. So uh, we, we start early morning, around about 8 o'clock, the players get their kit. Uh, then they've got an hour to, to have breakfast, to go see the physio if they've got any niggles. You know, just basically get their mind set for, for the training day. Then 9 o'clock we have a team meeting. Uh, typically speak about the previous day's training, the, that day's training session, maybe some analysis of our previous game analysis on the opposition, so we just uh, get together at around about 9, 9.30, we then make our way to the training ground, spend uh, a good solid hour and a half training, just working on things, you know, tactics, technically improving the players, just uh, really preparing for the upcoming matches. Um, and then, yeah, after training some days, the players have then uh, some gym work, um, and or, you know, if, it's, if, uh, if there's no gym, then it's a normal recovery. After training, we go to the pool, recover, you know, go to the gym, do some stretching activation again, and then uh, we go for lunch. Really, with the commitment of the players, um, just their desire and will to work hard every day, to buy into what we want to achieve, buy into what we need to do to be successful. And uh, so their commitment to, to the cause and the club has been really superb. So really pleased with that and really pleased with the sort of togetherness and the unity of the squad that they're supporting one another. Among the most exciting new signings is that of Zambian midfielder and Nations Cup winner Nathan Zingala. Nathan, this must be such an exciting time for you. You are the newest addition to Stellenbosch FC. What made you choose this particular team when you had other enticing offers? It was my decision to make. There was a lot of offers, but I just chose to be, to be here. I think it's a good city and a nice place to be. I can say they are new with PSL and they are trying to, to stay in PSL. I think I've been watching PSL and then I saw a couple, saw a couple of the games for them. I think it's a good team. Having won promotion to the PSL, now in the top 10 of the table and aiming to strengthen their squad with every transfer window, the club is looking up. You can't visit a team and not spend time with the team captain and Jared is the team captain for Stellenbosch FC. Jared, how long have you been playing for Stellenbosch FC? Started in 2016 and it's been the first season was a great season for us in the NFT so that has been great for us. Third season, you know, won the, won the league and being in the PSI in the fourth season is very good. What is the one thing you enjoy the most about being a part of the Stellenbosch Academy of Sports? Coming to training and everyone being here, it's actually convenient for the team and you know, every, everyone has a, 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 it's like a good vibe. I'm going amongst the players, so being here, having a nice setup like SAS, there's a lot of international Olympians that come here to train here, so it is a good environment for us as players, so to mix with them, 
makes us also like see how hard they work, makes us work harder. So being here at SAS is actually a, a big plus. Yeah, I think we just got to continue progressing. Every day we want to be better. Uh, every day we want to improve as a team. Every match we want to be better. So we just got to continue to take it one game at a time. Just maybe stamp our authority on the league in terms of showing that uh, you know we're a team that wants to be successful. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of hard work still to be done and uh, we just got to continue just believing in what we want to achieve. Having won three of their last four matches with fast-growing community support and secure financial backing, these guys are on their way.